It was back on the road Saturday for the Wisconsin Badgers down to Champaign to take on the Illinois Fighting Illini. We will, as always, take a look at some of the highlights from Saturday's game. We'll also get you a little up close with some of the true freshmen who are making an impact. And yes, that includes Jonathan Taylor, but it's not exclusively Jonathan Taylor among the rookies who are helping out the Badgers this season. And our senior salute this week is on graduate transfer Rashid Ibrahim. All of that in our weekly chat with head coach Paul Christ coming up on the Badger Sports Report. Third and 10 for Illinois at its own 39 yard line. And now Cam Thomas is in at quarterback. Thomas takes the snap out of the shotgun. Badgers rushing four. Thomas throws to the left, intercepted by Derek Tyndall at the 45 and brought down at the 40 of Illinois. It was intended for Ricky Smalling, and that is the 11th interception of the season for the Badgers' defense. Jonathan Taylor back in at running back. Handoff goes to Taylor, running left, has room off the edge. 45 to the 40, 35 to the 30, 25-yard line, and Taylor is run down by Phillips near the 20-yard line of Illinois. 29-yard run for Jonathan Taylor. Room off the left edge. Fourth and goal. Badgers are going to go for it. And the handoff to Alec Ingo. The fullback drives into the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Well, good to see Alec Ingo join the fullback party again. Jeff George, the quarterback now. Back to throw. Four-man Wisconsin rush. And George, ball's knocked out. Badgers pounce. They are calling it a fumble. It'll be Wisconsin ball near midfield. Tyler Johnson with the hit on George, jarring the ball free. The single wide receiver to the right is Kendrick Pryor. Fumagalli, wing left, motions right. Here's the handoff to Groshek, into the line, and into the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin. Garrett Groshek, into the end zone, it's 13 to nothing, Wisconsin. 52 yard attempt, right hash mark for Rafael Gaglianoni. Two seconds left in the half, Badgers lead by 11. Snap, spot, kick is away, and it is good! Goglianoni from 52 yards away. And the Badgers lead by 14 at the half. Ball at the 28, second and 14. Thomas back to throw, winds up, throws to the left. It's intercepted by Joe Ferguson. At the 10, to the 20, right side to the 30, 35 to the 40. And Ferguson driven out of bounds at the 44-yard line of Wisconsin. DJ Taylor wide to the right, Cephas to the left, Cephas in motion, Hornybrook rolling, and now he'll throw it back the other way. That's caught by Michael Dieter at the 10, at the 5, touchdown Wisconsin, Michael Dieter, yes sir, and the Badgers put it away in Champaign. It was awesome, I, I was definitely super nervous, I never had a ball thrown to me in, in a football game. I was super scared because if I drop it, it's a fumble. Um, there's a ton of stuff running through my head, but I knew that if I caught it, I'd have the whole line out in front of me, and, and there was no way I wasn't scoring. Um, it was a lot of fun. I think that was the longest TV timeout ever, um, knowing that we were running it and we just couldn't get the play run. It was taking forever with the media. Um, so the, the nerves just kept getting worse and worse, but it worked out. It was pretty funny to see when you got the ball. All the linemen are out there, so they're blocking it blocking their hearts out as hard as they can for him, and um, it was awesome to see him get in the end zone. When he got in the end zone, it was awesome. We all just went crazy. It was like a dog pound on him. And off goes to Shaw, straight ahead to the 30, 25, 20, he's gone. Touchdown, Wisconsin, and he's taken down by Ryan Conley. Myers to the right, to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Sending four, and one of them comes in scot free, and there is a big, big win. For the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badger Sports Report is presented by Zimbrick European. By UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure a normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney and together we saved a life. 
UW Health. Remarkable. The 2017 Nissan Rogue. With available automatic emergency braking that can help stop for you. And motion activated lift gate. Take on today the Nissan Rogue family. Lease today, starting at just $159 per month. Or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 12 models. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. At Hy-Vee Market Grill, you'll find something for everyone. Steaks grilled to perfection, delicious pasta, wood oven flatbread pizzas, and the burgers are the best in town. Plus, you've got to try our delicious Sunday brunch. And Hy-Vee Market Grills are next to Hy-Vee stores, so it's not like we're going to run out of food. It's good food, good times, and we love to see people smile. So get on into Hy-Vee Market Grill today. My salesperson is Joe Santowski, and from the moment I first walked through the doors here and he extended his hand to greet me, it's been the best relationship since then. He knows this brand and cars in general so well that I trusted him from the moment I met him. He was obviously so interested in exactly what I was looking for, what I wanted, but let me explore on my own. I didn't feel like a lot of times offense we were really in rhythm and, and so I think that um, you know we want to look at that and see what are the things we can do to help guys not just quarterback but everyone get in rhythm. I think it's just everyone being on all 11 at the same time I think what we've done this year is you know I think it's been one guy here one guy there on certain plays where if just one guy didn't do this it would be you know a 60 yard run or Really, a really good pass, stuff like that. Um, you just have to be more consistent because um, there's definitely plays where it's all 11 of us and you can see it go. And then there's plays where it's nine guys doing the right thing, and, you know, their assignment, technique, all that stuff. I mean, there's a ton of stuff that goes into it, and it's all just really consistency because everyone on the offense is more than capable of doing a fantastic job. We just have to do it. We're winning, so I'm happy with that. But. It's a lot we can work on, but like, like Coach Chris said, you're always happy with a win. So don't ever take, if I look like I was, oh, see, I was, I'm happy with a W. Obviously, anytime we win in the Big Ten is exciting. Um, there's a lot of things we got to clean up, but at the same time, it's a win is a win, and it's in the Big Ten, so it's, it's a good win. I'm happy with the win, but I mean, of course, it was it was a little sloppy. You know, we could we had some holes that we could have fixed, definitely. Uh, definitely could always get better. But just being a little cleaner on our fits, you know, in the run game and, you know, pass defense. Uh, just being a little cleaner, you know, tightening up some stuff. That's, that's really, it's not really a big problem. It's just, it can tighten down a little bit. Wasn't always pretty. And, uh, you know, certainly going to be some areas that, that we can still need to work at and improve upon. But uh, thought guys kept playing and, and it was, it was fun to see other guys have to step up. We had really great communication as a back end. I mean, they gave us a formation where uh, Natrell was able to give me a heads up about something that might be coming. So I was able to get to where I was supposed to be. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, sometimes the, the you're in the right spot. Eventually something good's going to happen. The quarterback just uh, put one right in my lap, which is awesome. They don't all have to be hard. So <laughs> I was happy that that happened. Yeah. Persevere. You know, like we're able to persevere as both the team and them as individuals. Also, just I think it's a, a testament to how we prepare. It's all week, because I told, like I said before, I said it before. You know, everybody prepares like they're the starter. And, you know, the guys' names got called today, and, and they handled it. This is what collaboration looks like. This is what happens when a cardiologist in Appleton works step in step with specialists at UW Health in Madison. You see, when Terry's condition required a second opinion, his doctor turned to the cardiothoracic team at UW Health. Together, we made sure Terry got the care and the heart transplant he needed. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. Two, one. They get the snap away. Thomas wants the throw under pressure. Got away from Dooley, but he does not get away from Alec James, who just smothers the quarterback at the 16-yard line. 
Shotgun snap to George, four-man rush. George in trouble, and down he goes. Andrew Van Ginkle busted it into the Illinois backfield, gets the sack. One road trip down, another one coming up. The Badgers will play at Indiana this Saturday. The next home game is against Iowa, and home games are great, great for any number of reasons, not the least of which you get a lot of former Badger players who get to come back, some with their football careers over, but some very much in progress in the NFL if there's a bye weekend that works. I know the last home game you had Owen Daniels, right, Craig Urbick, Jonathan Orr. That, that has to be fun for you and, and maybe you know, hopefully fun for the players. They could pick their brains a little bit too, what it was like. I think that's one of the best parts. And Dari, you're talking about guys who uh, on bye weeks, Dari came by the, the team hotel and then was there for the game. And and uh, it's it's great. You know, Owen Daniels was uh, in our meetings and then he had a chance to go down and, and spend some time with the tight ends. And uh, Craig Urbick was in the locker room afterwards. and. And it's uh, it's always great, and it's their place. You know, and and we talk a lot about all those that came before, and how they've kind of helped pave the way. And and there's a responsibility to doing your part to continue and to continue to grow on it, and yet knowing their support from them. And I think that was really evident. And you know, I had uh, Danny Davis had a chance to meet Jonathan Orr, and then we talked about and the fact that the touchdown that uh, that AJ scored on was the one that. Jonathan had about nine of them his senior year. So we were talking about that. And I said, we're going to run it. Your play's back in. But anytime you can connect the past with the current, love it. And for me, selfishly, um, you know, having been able to be able to coach those guys and have them come back and see that they're doing well and also meeting the players that you're with now, I, I love that. It's, it's a lot of fun to talk to those guys because you really, it doesn't take long to realize how invested they will always be emotionally with this program. I mean, they may not know all the names necessarily, but some they do, and they're they are into it, it seems. No matter what era, but you mentioned those guys. I, I'm sure they, they keep very close tabs. They do keep close tabs, and that was one of the, when I saw Jonathan Orr, one of the first things he's, Coach, I, I love the young receivers. And then I shared that with the receivers, said here's, and, and they've seen it, you know, we when we teach a play, you know, we'll show cut-ups from whatever years back. And so they've seen Jonathan on tape. You know, Ted Gilmore wasn't here when J.O. called. You know, I said, there's Jonathan Orr right there. And he and he goes, yeah, I've talked to Jonathan because he wanted to find out how he was running this certain route. And so there is a connection, and our players do know that it means a lot. Those guys do care what, what you said, and they watch it. And, uh, and they're cheering for him. And that's, uh, it's pretty cool when it connects. It, it's fun for players. They can see the names, maybe some photos on the walls outside the locker room. And I know Wisconsin has talked a lot about running back you, but the offensive lineman alumni, the wide receiver, the tight end alumni, that, those are pretty proud groups too. And you, know, you, you coached a lot of those guys. You know how, how productive you know, a guy like J.O. was and, and Owen Daniels. Did a lot of good things out here. Did a ton of good things in that. We were just talking because I had Owen was right there and, and Jonathan. And I said, all we need is Brian Calhoun because I'll never forget. <laughs> one of my top ten moments was in the Cap One Bowl. And uh, end up Owen ended up scoring the uh, touchdown on that from Stock. And, and the play was called Job. And it was J because Jonathan was the first read. O because Owen was next. And B was Brian, so Stocko just had to go J O to B <laughs> job, and uh, and so they kind of gave me a hard time. I said I didn't know what to call it, and I know this is where we're going with it. But then to see that, and and when they come back, and yet those memories still stick in your mind, and and you're really proud of what they're doing. You know, Owen's now a, a father of two, and and J O had his kids there, and so to see them progress and, and be really happy and in a good spot, you feel good. You mentioned Brian Calhoun. I know we've talked about this off air, but I had no idea when he came here from Colorado. I just thought he was a guy who would be the breakaway guy. And here he could do that, but he was a pretty tough runner. It was, and it was hard for a defensive player to really get a direct shot on him, wasn't it? No, you're exactly right. And and I didn't know either because I just came that year. And, and so he was coming off of the, the year that he sat out and and that year, I think he led the nation in the number of attempts and had a great ability to never take a square hit. And it's been fun. Brian comes back, and he came in fall camp, and he comes in practice, and he's getting to know the running backs. And it's it's always cool when, uh, like I said, when the past 
and the and the president connect and, and those are good names and, and guys you want to emulate they really are i think of brian calhoun that game-winning touchdown drive against michigan in 2005 he did a whole lot of work behind the offensive line that set up john stocko's quarterback draw so thanks for letting us uh, go down memory lane here a little bit it's always fun to do that while this year's badgers continue to write their story in 2017 coach turns in a few minutes with the great day and great question of the week as we continue with the badger sports report the 2017 nissan rogue with available automatic emergency braking that could help stop for you and motion activated lift gate Take on today, the Nissan Rogue family. Lease today, starting at just $159 per month, or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 12 models. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Go Badgers! Wisconsin, Mahindra's inventory clearance sale is going on now. We're reducing prices like never before on the toughest tractors on earth. Like a Mahindra Emax 22 as low as 99 bucks a month. Or get up to $8,100 in cash back and savings. Plus, Mahindra's seven year limited powertrain warranty comes standard. So find your dealer at WisconsinMahindraDealers.com. My salesperson is Joe Santowski. And from the moment I first walked through the doors here and he extended his hand to greet me, it's been the best relationship since then. He knows this brand and cars in general so well that I trusted him from the moment I met him. He was obviously so interested in exactly what I was looking for, what I wanted, but let me explore on my own. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10 and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialist at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. Of the 17 true freshmen that received scholarships to play at Wisconsin, five have seen playing time midway through the season. Three have played big roles for the Badgers so far, receiver Danny Davis, running back Jonathan Taylor, and long snapper Adam Bay. It's been a grind, honestly, trying to get used to the pro, st uh, pro style punt system. But besides that, it's been a great process ever since camp. Go out there and, you know, um, make plays and do what I needed to do to get on the field. And um, during fall camp, I feel like I did a good job of that. And we're here now, so you just got to keep making them plays and, you know, keep getting better as a player. Didn't know when or how my number would be called, but just know that, you know, I was prepared for any situation where my number was called. I just wanted to be ready and absorb as much information as I could. The three agree the biggest adjustments between high school and college are the speed of the game and the time management of both academics and football. Going out to practice, I got class at 11, so it's like, you definitely got to do things very efficient. You got to make sure, you know, the night before you got things set in place and you know, I got to do this, this, and that, and you got to do it in a timely fashion. Coming in here with football and everything is definitely, you know, tougher because, you know, you have football and then you have meetings and, you know, you definitely want to be a great football player. So you're studying film, then you fit in your homework. So it's definitely tough. As time went on, I got to study the playbook more. And that's probably when, that's when things got slower for me. When I started to, you know, know what the playbook, know the plays and, you know, uh, just know myself what I needed to do. And that was 100% sure. While Taylor and Davis weren't sure if they would play, Bay came in knowing he was likely the starter at long snapper. There's a lot of stuff that I had to improve on. You know, just coming from a spread style punt where I just snapped and ran out field, but snapping and blocking, it was a big jump. Just the speed of the game and the size of the players I'm running up against now. It's not high school anymore. It was a big jump. One moment stands out among the rest for Davis, opening night against Utah State. I'll never forget that Friday, man. I walked out there and uh, I ran out there, actually. But I ran out there and it was just like, I froze for a minute and I was like, whoa. And I was like, oh, I better snap back into reality real quick because I might be on that field pretty soon. So I just want to make sure, you know, uh, just go out there and, you know, do what Coach Gilmore says and Coach Chris says. And uh, that's all you can do. So far, so good for this true freshman trio. For the Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ, I'm Ryan Wing.
This senior salute is brought to you by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Ibrahim now in the backfield, out of the shotgun. Hornibrook is to Ibrahim, running left, has room, 35. Ibrahim, 30, to the 25, cutting to the 20, outside the numbers, to the 15-yard line. And the former Pitt Panther, Rashid Ibrahim, the grad transfer, works his way to the 15-yard line of Nebraska. I felt comfortable um, coming in with this coaching staff. Obviously, I had been under them for like two years. So I felt real comfortable. I wanted the opportunity to be coached by Coach Set again. And it wasn't a decision that I made quickly. Um, obviously, I didn't come here until June, and I had left Pitt in December. So, you know, I went through the whole process, and uh, uh, Coach Chris and Coach Rudy, they had reached out to me and said, you know, we could use it back like you up here. You'd have an opportunity to come here and compete. And, uh, you know, I thought about it, and obviously, uh, at the end of the day, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to come here and reunite with these guys, um, have a chance to win some games, and uh, be at a special place. What is special about this place? I mean, just the tradition, just um, what it's been able to accomplish over the years, just the fact that you can say that you're a Wisconsin Badger. Um, you know, it's really a, a, spe it's a special place. You know, you walk in here, you see the historic, uh, you know, you see Ron Dane walking around here and there. You see these greats that have been here. Um, and, you know, I'm glad to say that I could be a part of that now. I was here for the last six weeks of summer. And really camp, I feel like I really became a part of the team. Just uh, the fact I got to know everybody. In the summer, I was still getting settled in and figuring things out. So I was kind of more focused on that. But then uh, camp, really, you know, we spent the whole day together. So that's really around the time I got to get real familiar with everybody. It's exciting. Uh, just, you know, whenever my number's called, I, I was always just taught to stay ready. Um, so, you know, um, whenever they're going to call my number, I'm going to be ready. And, that's, how, that's really the philosophy in the whole room, you know, be ready when your number's called. Rashid Ibrahim in the backfield now to the left of Hornibrook, back to throw, a little pressure coming on Alex, and he gets it away, caught by Ibrahim, 35-40, 45-yard 40, line, he gets upended near midfield. It's a blessing, you know, just thankful to God, thankful to Coach Chris for giving me this opportunity to come here, um, and, you know, it's really exciting. I just try to soak it in and just, you know, try, try to just go out there and give it my all because there's some greats that have done it before me. I just try to soak it in and just enjoy the moments. Uh, these are some of the greatest moments of my life, uh, just college football. And, you know, not many people are able to say that they've done it. And I'll be able to say that, I, you know, I played college football at two great universities, uh, Pitt and Wisconsin. So it's really a blessing, man. My salesperson is Joe Santowski. And from the moment I first walked through the doors here and he extended his hand to greet me, it's been the best relationship since then. He knows this brand and cars in general so well that I trusted him from the moment I met him. He was obviously so interested in exactly what I was looking for, what I wanted, but let me explore on my own. Wisconsin, Mahindra's inventory clearance sale is going on now. We're reducing prices like never before on the toughest tractors on earth. Like a Mahindra Emax 22 as low as 99 bucks a month. Or get up to $8,100 in cash back and savings. Plus, Mahindra's seven year limited powertrain warranty comes standard. So find your dealer at WisconsinMahindraDealers.com. This is what collaboration looks like. This is what happens when a cardiologist in Appleton works step-in-step -step with specialists at UW Health in Madison. You see, when Terry's condition required a second opinion, his doctor turned to the cardiothoracic team at UW Health. Together, we made sure Terry got the care and the heart transplant he needed. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. The 2017 Nissan Rogue, with available automatic emergency braking that can help stop for you. And motion activated liftgate. Take on today, the Nissan Rogue family. Lease today, starting at just $159 per month, or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 12 models. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Go! The Badger Sports Report is presented by hy V. Where there's a helpful smile in every aisle, hy V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. By UW Health, UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org.
Time now for the Great Dane Great Question of the Week, and we check in with Dave from Delafield. Wants to know, Coach, of the guys who are redshirting this year, working hard, trying to earn their, their spot down the road, you have a couple of them maybe who might be standing out, made a jump from August to what you're seeing now? There are a few, and I think that that's really important, and, and you can approach that redshirt year in so many ways, and, and yet I think Scott Nelson, you know, is a guy that missed some time in camp, uh, a safety, but he's showing up and it's been fun and impressive to watch. Jake Ferguson's doing a nice job, and uh, I think it helps because his brother Joe he goes against a bunch, and so the, you know there's been some reports that from Jake that there's some Ferg on Ferg crime, <laughs> you know. But he's a, but he does work, and, and and I also think that you know our young offensive line, particularly Logan Bruss, is he gets tested, and what a great gift to go against a really talented line, and yet I see him taking advantage of that, and you can come away with some confidence. I thought Tyler Biotic was a great example of that last year where he really had to work. And that's not easy to do. You know, Tuesday and Wednesday know that you're going to go up and you're not going to get necessarily a lot of breaks and you're going to – it's going to be a long day, but you can choose to make the most of it. And I think that Logan's done a nice job with that. Those would be the couple that jump out at me right now. All right, there you go. Be looking forward to watching those guys as their careers unfold here at Wisconsin. Thanks so much for your question. The Great Dane with the location up in Wausau as well as four – down in this neck of the woods, east side of town, downtown Fitchburg and Hilldale. Badgers hit the road again this Saturday, taking on Indiana down in Bloomington. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. Every division, every sport, the Learfield Directors' Cup. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us online and on Twitter. The Learfield Directors' Cup. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure a normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. A pulse, felt by one, sends a ripple, felt by some, a shiver, felt by many, until it amplifies, magnifies into a tremor that electrifies, badgers everywhere, moving as one, tilting the world.